so in conclusion which, uh, if uh, will I do everything over um, knowing what I know now all that I have to do when purchasing an older truck uh, yes I would I would be I, I, I would be lying if I said that I didn't think about it sometimes that I'd be like man what did I why did I get this truck I'm gonna you know I'm spending all this money and stuff and um, you probably want to know about about how much you're gonna look to spend oh man I lost count honestly because by I have a stack about this big of uh, invoices and parts little parts here and there it adds up quick and anybody that know, owns a truck knows how little stuff just was adding and adding and adding up uh, to do the air system uh, I, you're looking about with we'll say with a new air dryer figuring that out you're looking at probably two thousand dollars just on that um, and then whatever you know other little parts you know you don't have to do everything at once you can take you know it took me two years to get to that point where uh, where I was uh, uh, two and a half well, almost two and a half years uh, to get to the point where I was I was felt safe uh, putting the truck out on the road uh, I want to make sure that I go through the whole air system and all that kind of stuff uh, the electronic you know the Electronic, but all that electrical very big deal you gotta get to learn that and you better go through it and uh, and you know and, and which whichever motor you're you're running or it's on there or you're planning to replace it or whatever you're trying to do like that uh, better get to know it pretty well uh, there's a lot of stuff that you're you're gonna become good at um, not, you know, I'm not saying I'm good, but I'm saying like you're gonna get to learn it, cause uh, yeah, it's you're gonna have to find, you're gonna have to um, not engineer, but do some uh, do some modifications, cause some of the parts are gonna be very hard to track down, like my S cam bushings on the steer axle. Very, um, they were. Uh, Kind of hard to track down but i did them and, and you know now that now the, the front brakes are very good but, you know, uh all the stuff like that yeah so uh, yep um uh if there anything else you would like to know just leave a comment down below or send me a message and i'll try to answer them as best as i can and uh you know it's uh it's running a truck like that it's very it's a truck that you actually have to drive it's nothing like electronic trucks where you know you're you're not you're gonna be glued to those gauges your pyro your water temp there's some of them have buzzers but mine didn't have no buzzers or anything like that uh, the, the other guy took everything out on that aspect so you're gonna have to learn your attempts you're gonna have to learn how you know what's a safe what's a safe temperature to run your transmission what's a safe temperature to run your oil your oil your oil pressure your oil temp um, because there's no safety on those if you're not watching one if you're not watching a gauge you could uh, you know if you're not watching your oil pressure and stuff like that which I got really good at just like staring at that pyro in the beginning when I was running it because it was getting hot um, you know, I have to do some adjustments and uh, I have to find out how the air fuel ratio works on, on the caterpillars and the 3406s and uh, you know how the whole system how the fuel, how the whole fuel system works for that motor uh, to diagnose what was going on with it and that's you know all the little stuff like that is you're gonna have to learn um, but yeah leave a comment and whatever I can help I will uh, you know and uh, see from all the videos that I can think about, you know, um, by, uh, you know, getting an older truck like that and putting it back on the road, um, you know, this, I, I gotta say, I love driving that truck. Uh, this, this, like, uh, I guess some people will think about, like, you know, like getting an old, uh, 
Corvette or, or I'm, I'm, you know, I'm more of a Mopar guy, but you know, um, you know, it'd be like driving down the road and getting paid to drive it, uh, which I love the feeling of, uh, when I drive the truck, it's just, there's no feeling like it. I love that even though it's kind of hard to get into places and I have to back in and be more careful, but I enjoyed it, you know, and I'm trying to keep going. Well, so I'm just going to keep going, just, you know, you know, I'm driving my Freightliner right now uh, because I'm going to have to uh, do some other stuff. I'll, I am going to put it in, into Landstar. I'm going to swap the motor out. I'm going to be looking into probably putting a 3406E model, preferably. Um, I would like a 1W, 1LW. I would love to get a <laughs> 2WS, but you know, they are coming with the price tag, so. But anyways, I uh, hope this kind of helps somebody out. Leave the questions down below and I'll try to answer them. Right, be careful.